Welcome to Texas Boxing Scene. Um, we're going to do a little show on this um, Josh Franco news. Josh Franco's got big news finally after all the uh, layoffs and promotional contractual issues. Josh Franco's going to be back in a big way. New Year's Eve with uh, Kaz Ioka. Um, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow Texas Boxing Scene. Please uh, uh, su subscribe. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery, so it's uh, near and dear our heart. Uh, but we want to get into this Josh Franco news. This is big news. You know, Franco um, obviously last fought back in t uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma at the Hard Rock in August of 2021. So he's been over a year out of the ring. He's been 14 months out of the ring already since that fight. Um, and his name has been linked to mostly Estrada. He was supposed to fight Estrada. Um, it went to purse bids. Golden Boy was the lone bidder on the purse bid. Um, and Ioka, uh, I mean, and, and, and oh, go my mind. And Estrada didn't want the fight. Um, he opted not to take the fight. Um, he fought tune-up fight instead and almost lost had to rally get a knockout um it was clearly a duck on on estrada's part um and it left franco out cold left him out of the big fight you know he was supposed to have this fight for so long um he was supposed to originally fight you know chuck latito was originally the champion and then chuck latito lost to estrada um and then they ordered the rematch the rematch fell through once because of covid fell through twice for uh twice because of covid and then the fight was completely off chuck latito went on um to fight Martinez, um, Estrada went on to vacate his belt and fight tune-up fights and duck Josh. But now Josh is finally going to get his mega fight. You know, he's gone through a promotional issue. He's amicably split, I guess would be the term, with Golden Boy. He's no longer promoted by, by Golden Boy. And now he's got this Ioka fight on New Year's Eve. New Year's Eve is a big deal in Japan. They have a major fight card every year, and that card's usually headlined by Ioka. Um, he's fought the last three years, um, on New Year's Eve, I believe. Uh, let me confirm that. Yeah. The last three years he's fought 19, 20, 21. He's fought in Tokyo. And then in 2018, remember he fought Nietes in Macau. Um, so he's fought the last four New Year's Eve, the last three in Japan, in Tokyo. Um, the, the fourth was in Macau, but, um, he's fought now three times in the Oto City General Coliseum. Um, he's fought there his last five fights, including the last three New Year's Eve cards. So it, it stands to reason that he will fight there again. Um, this is a big fight for Josh. Um, this is a, a, a you, know, you know, Josh can do what his brother's done nice twice now, which is dethrone a legend of the smaller weight classes. This is his moment to do so, right? Josh beat a good champion in Maloney to capture the belt, and he's beat him twice now with one no contest. And, and those were good wins. But they aren't Hall of Fame names. This is a Hall of Fame name. Ioka is one of the great little men of all time. Uh, he's a four-division world champ. Um, he's a pound-for-pound -pound type of guy. You know, he's got wins over everyone in, in the small weight, weight classes. Um, like I said, he comes up all the way from 105, uh, 108, 105. He won his first world title at the minimum 105. He's going 105, 108, 112, 115. First battle Hall of Famer, 29 and 2. He's won six consecutive fights since the December 18th, the New Year's Eve 2018 card, um, where he lost a very split, very controversial decision to Nietes in a fight where every single round was close. Um, he, he's gone on. He beat Plikte. He beat Javier Centroni. He beat Kosa Tanaka. I mean, he beat Frank, Frankie Rodriguez. He's beaten name after name after name. This is an all time great fighter. Um, still in his prime, he's 33, but he's still in his prime. Uh, like I said, he's still beating these names. Uh, I guess, and, and this is what Josh has. Um, currently, Josh has the WBA belt. We're going to get into the, the, that. Um, you know, the, 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 the WBA belt and the WBA super belt. Um, Estrada had the super belt. He vacated that uh, when, he, when he ducked Franco. And, he, and now Franco was upgraded to the super champ. So there's no more controversy, no more debate on who the real WBA champ is. Um, it's Josh Franco, and he's going to fight Ioka, who's the WBO champ, in a unification fight. Um, and, and this is this is a massive fight. Um, 
you know, a win over here, I don't know, it, it gets Josh near that pound for pound list too, the one we keep putting his brother on. You know, and Josh is such a good fighter. He's such a good offensive fighter, such a complete fighter, good pop, really, you know, really good combination puncher. He can counter punch. Like Josh Ryan is a really complete offensive fighter. Um, and he's kind of been out of sight, out of mind with the contract stuff, with the Golden Boy stuff, but he's back now. And, and he's back in a fight where, you know, there's no tune-up fight straight into the mega fight. And, and this is a mega fight for the small weight class. It's a unification fight between two legit world champions in their prime um, who can outbox you and can bang. So I don't really know what to expect. I'm going to watch a bunch of tape on both these guys um, and go back and, and probably do a, a, a preview tape, a preview show um, on this fight. It's a really, really interesting offensive fight. There's a couple things I want to look at. I hope it defensively. Um, but this is a five-star fight. And, and you know, the 115 division is the best in the sport, right? You, you got Bam, you got Estrada, you got Chocotillo, you got Kazioka, um, and you have uh, Josh Franco. So it, the division is top notch. Um, a, a, a win here really elevates Josh's status, right, from a world champion to in that pound-for-pound -pound discussion because that's where Ioka is. You know, I Ioka, um, he's a pound-for-pound -pound guy. Like, he should be, if he's not in your pound-for-pound -pound list, go back and watch his last six fights. Palikte, Cintron, Tanaka, Frankie Rodriguez, uh, Fukunoga, and, and Nietes. Go watch those six fights. Then remember, he's won three world titles before that. And tell me he's not, not a pound for pound guy. He absolutely is a pound for pound guy. He should be on your list. And if Josh Franco beats him, I should put Josh Franco on your list. I know some people won't do it because he doesn't have the pedigree. He hasn't gone up and down weight classes. But two wins over Maloney and a win over Ioka. He's in that conversation, unifying two belts. He is definitely in that conversation. Um, let me know what you guys think. Uh, again, this is New Year's Eve. It's going to be in Japan. Uh, no location is official, but New Year's Eve in Tokyo. Uh, WBA, WBO, 115 pound unification fight. Um, and this is where Josh deserves to be. You know, no disrespect to Bam. Bam's a great fighter. I've been saying Bam is special, Bam is unique. Uh, but Bam's been getting all the love in this house. And, and, you know, like I said, Franco's been out of the ring. It's been out of sight, out of mind with Josh Franco. Um, but this is a, a, a chance to get back and, and show the world just how good he is. Uh, as he's entering his physical prime, he's got lots of years in front of him. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see this fight. You know, can can Bam kind of retire Ioka? Can can Bam? Uh, can Bam? Can Josh right retire Ioka? Can uh, you know Josh kind of say you know do to Ioka what Bam did to Sorungvisai to Quadris? Can he get those guys out? Uh, let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Uh, let me know what you think of the Josh Franco Kazioka fight. Again, December 31st in Japan. Please like, subscribe. So like, share, and subscribe. Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from uh all proceeds from the channel go to autism research and recovery. So it's near and dear to our heart. It is October 12th, 2022, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless.